Hi friends, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card that you can see here on this screen. I'm going to be using the beautiful layered lace five stencil set from Honey Bee. This is one of the newer stencil sets in the latest collection. And this is just so fun. It creates the most vintage and delicate looking uh, project when you're finished. And I really had so much fun using this stencil set. Super easy to use. And the effect is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just showing you here that there's five stencils in this set and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can use this stencil set today. I'm going to first of all start off by just stenciling this on a plain white sheet of cardstock. So you can see I've got the first stencil there on my mat. I'm using the smallest waffle flower silicone mat here and I've got the my cardstock there and I've just taped that first stencil down and I've used some seedless preserves distress oxide ink to ink up that floral area. Area. Now I've layered that second stencil over top here and I'm using old paint distress oxide ink and my honeybee blending brush here to add that onto the perimeter and then now you can see I've got the next stencil on and I'm going back in with that seedless preserves again for the little florals around the edge of the little leaves that were added in that second layer. So just super easy. I love my honeybee a tiny little detail brush for these small little areas. It's just the perfect size. And now I'm going to peel off that stencil and go to the next stencil. So this one is going to give me that really pretty sort of like edging around the florals and leaves on the outside edge. It's like this little scallop frame. And I'm adding that in with some uh, velvet, sorry, some uh, Victorian velvet oxide ink. So just this really pretty vintage soft pink look. And this really does look like an old fashioned doily almost when it's finished. I just love the vintage look of this. And then this last stencil here you can see adds in that leaf detail around the center area. And again, I added that with the old paint. And I'm just gonna show you up close what this looks like. It's so pretty. So this in itself could be your card front. However, there is a coordinating die set that goes along with the stencil. This is the Lace A2 cover plate. You could use this as a standalone. You wouldn't need the stencil, but I love how the stencil coordinates so beautifully with this die. So you can just see how gorgeous this is when it's all die cut out. It looks like a beautiful lace doily. And now what I can do is layer my stencils over top of these die cut pieces and add some color to them as well. So here you can see I've added that stencil. Again, that first stencil with those pretty little flowers, those little roses, and they just look like the most delicate little tea roses adding that sea list preserves again through the stencil onto that etched area on the die cut piece here and you can just see how that embossed area of those florals in the center is just so pretty with that color added to it now i'm going in with that next layer again this is the leaves and i'm adding the old paint to the embossed area of the leaves in the stencil in the die cut piece there so the nice thing about the die cut piece is all of the areas that this that you're going to be stenciling are on our embossed into your paper and this is super easy to do the die does just a fantastic job of cutting and embossing it's a beautiful beautiful uh, cover plate and of course that is actually called the lace a2 cover plate it's not called layered lace like the stencils um, so that you can find it in the shop but I will make sure that I link to all of these different products in the description box below so that you can easily find them if you're looking for them over at honeybee stamps so now this is the next layer and I'm going to go in with that seedless preserves again and add this beautiful rich purple to the little tea rose areas in the stencil again around the outside edges of this gorgeous doily and I love that I just one of the things I love the most about this is it's it, the vintage look it is just classic and I love it and there's so many ways that you could use this um, and create different types of um you know, different pieces for projects, whether it's a card project or a DIY project. If you're working on a scrapbooking layout, this could easily be a mat for a photograph. This is just a really, really versatile die set and stencil set. So there, look how pretty that is. It just looks so beautiful. I love it so much. And so that's gonna finish off that layer. Now I'm gonna go in for that outer layer again, that little scallop, pretty edge. And again, with that beautiful Victorian velvet color, it's just a soft pink that just looks so pretty 
with the seedless preserves. I love how these colors coordinate and I like how, how they look so nicely um, as well or coordinate so nicely with that green. I think it's just a really pretty color combo. So just gonna go in again with my honeybee blending brush and get that all added on there. I'm just looking to make sure that I've got all my areas and I did feel like my stencil had moved a little bit. So I was just making sure that I checked to ensure that it is in the same spot and got that all done now there's the peel reveal so pretty i love the detail that that adds to that die cut piece i think it's just so stunning now i'm going to go in with my old paint and finish up those leaves around the tea roses in the very center of that die cut piece there and now you've got these two different pieces now you would not have to use them together if you didn't want to you could definitely use something else in the center of that doily you could use uh, the some of the lovely layers dies in the center whatever you want but I just wanted to use the two together today so I have a top folding a2 white card base um, for my project here I'm just going to use my honeybee precision tip glue tube here to add some adhesive to this piece I'm going to glue that down onto my card base I'm not using any dimension there I just didn't feel like this would would look um, as good dimensional on this particular card because I am popping up that center piece with some dimension so I've got some foam adhesive in this center die cut piece here I'm going to take that release paper off the back and add that to the center of this base and I just love how this looks when it's finished it's so pretty I love it and that just adds that little bit of bump up and pop uh, of dimension onto that card front now I have used the rooting for you stamp set this is the beautiful sentiment set that has so many lovely sentiments and greetings in it and there is also sold separately a coordinating die set which is perfect now I've stamped out the sending hugs sentiment with some versifying uh, ink it's just some nice crisp ink here and I've, I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive strips to the back now that I have that all die cut out with that coordinating die, this is just perfect for adding a sentiment to the front of your card. And this one, of course, says sending hugs. I love that. And it's just the perfect size to finish off that little area below those sweet little tea roses on my project. Now I did feel like I wanted to add just a tiny little bit of bling. So I'm gonna add a few little gems to the front of my card on these little tea roses with a little bit of Nouveau Glaze and my jewel picker. And that will finish off my card today. So friends, I have linked up to all of the products that I've used from Honeybee in the description box below. The really cool thing about Honeybee Stamps shop online is that it really is a one-stop shop. Um, Melissa has, she's got a adhesives in the shop she has tools so many different products make sure you check them out and I am so happy with how this turned out and I hope you were inspired and enjoyed watching this process have an amazing day friends I will see you soon bye bye